All right, well, a story that has a lot of people talking this morning. Just how casual is too casual when it comes to what students wear on a college campus? Well, some say students at Morehouse College in Atlanta have taken this thing just a little bit too far. And the school is cracking down, and now they have an appropriate attire policy, a new dress code, if you will. Now, you remember this campus here. This is the campus where Dr. Martin Luther King walked. This is where civil rights leader Julian Bond, Maynard Jackson, pretty high bar set back in their days. They, they had to uh, in, in, encourage everybody, to let everybody know that they were men of distinction. They were fighting for that. They wore jackets. They wore ties. We went to the campus of Morehouse, talked to the vice president of student affairs, also students about this. Take a listen. When you sign on to be a student at Morehouse, there are certain things that are expected, and we expect you to attire yourself in a professional manner, to represent yourself and then the universe in a very positive manner. There are some parts of the policy that I feel infringe on the student's freedom to expression. I feel if you're at your leisure, for someone to tell you how you can be comfortable in your leisure is kind of stifling your freedom of expression. Just as I'm disappointed, and I know some of my other brothers are disappointed in what we see on a daily basis, I know some of our great alumni, uh, past alumni, would, would definitely be disappointed as well. All right, let's bring in our education contributor, Steve Perry, Dr. Steve Perry. Doctor, good to see you, and my goodness, I was trying to find a way to play devil's advocate on this thing, but man, I am so glad to see this policy put into place. But what about that student's argument that, hey, it's stifling my freedom of expression? There's no such thing as absolute freedom. As I wear a Capitol Prep issued uniform <laughs> tie from our kids, there's no absolute freedom. These young men need to understand that freedom simply doesn't mean doing whatever you want to do. It's within the confines of what makes sense. You have the freedom to dress any way you want. Just go to a different school. Now, it's a lot of people would argue with that. It, it, even at that school, whatever school you go to, these kids are paying a lot of money to go to that school. And maybe it goes too far in that, hey, what in the cafeteria? Seriously, I can't wear certain things in the cafeteria. No, you can't wear pajama pants in the cafeteria. One of the problems, especially in our community, is that we have allowed the personal to become public. And when we blur the lines and even erase the lines, so much so that a child feels comfortable with his drawers out, wearing pajama pants and a do-rag on his head out in public, that we as a community look like fools. We look like court jesters. They're on a college campus where employers and potential graduate school admissions officers are there on a regular basis. They are part of a community. They represent not just themselves, but the whole of Morehouse. Men like Spike Lee went to Morehouse. Yep. They represent not just the men who are there now, but the men who will come there, like my sons, who I'm hoping one day will be Morehouse men. The point here is that they represent a cadre of individuals who've been the, the high watermark within our community. They don't have the right to simply do what they want to do. They have to consider themselves as part of a community. So is that the problem then? We need to get into these young men's minds. It's not really about how they dress. They need to have a better respect for the campus that they're walking on. They definitely need to respect the campus that they're walking on. They, they applied to that school because of its reputation. So now that you're on the campus because of its reputation, respect what that school means, not just to you, but to the entire community. Haven't we seen, we'll get away from Morehouse here, but still talk about dress code. Haven't we seen across the country, at least studies and, and whatnot have been done after schools have implemented some dress codes, even school uniforms that in fact, They've seen uh, the, the violence on campus go down and kids start to focus then on learning instead of wearing the latest fashion. One of our, we, our school was the first school in the city of Hartford to go to a full dress code. In mm -hmm. fact, some of the children used to refer to our kids as wearing tuxedos because they had never seen children walking through the city of Hartford wearing ties. We see that children need to have some decisions taken off their plate. One of the big problems that we have with children is we give them adult decisions to make. Mm. What we do at our school and what happens on many campuses throughout the country is we take the, the big decisions out of their way. What you're going to wear, if you're going to go to school, if you're going to do your homework, not your decision. You're a child. You'll do what the adults here tell you to do. And then you get to focus on being a child. What we rob our children of is the opportunity to be children. And what that means is to focus on what it is that they need to focus on, which is listening to adults who care about them. All right, last thing here, and back to the Morehouse thing. What, and I just want to get your reaction and let you, let you go here, but what does it say that the Morehouse campus, again, we, we've all been to this campus and see the statue of Martin Luther King, but the fact that the students who are walking that campus now have to be told not to show their underwear, not to wear a do-rag, not to wear pajamas, not to wear women's clothing on campus. That's actually in the policy. Not to wear grills in your mouth on campus. Where, where have we gotten that that has to be put into to a policy at the Morehouse College? We've gotten to Chicago and Detroit and Hartford. We've gotten to so many places where this is the beginning of a time in which we need to start taking an honest look at ourselves as a community. When our children 
send themselves, when our children enter the community like that, then they are a true representation of us. They are saying to us as parents and as a community that we have failed to teach them what they need to know to participate in the public sector. All right, Steve Perry, the, the tie looks good. And you're right, man, both of us, no matter what we prefer to wear this morning, uh, is the appropriate way to show up this morning. We're glad you showed up appropriately <laughs> this morning for us. <laughs> Steve, you, good to see you as always, man. Glad Talk to, to you, to you again well. soon.